everyone, welcome back, oh, where am I, to the Hallowed Equality Brawl. Uh, so this week, as you can see, obviously, we have the Hallowed Ground modifiers, and uh, we got the stockpile, so we started bonus, bonus resources. And uh, I'm just going to toss out a bunch of Reapers. Uh, don't mind me how I just place them. Normally, I don't place them like this. Don't worry about it. Uh, let me just reorganize them real quick. Uh, so, Equality Brawl takes away all unit types. That includes defensive structures. Like, not, not, not your bunker, but the ones we place down. Like, for example, I'm going to place on this missile turn over here. It's got no type. Uh, let me let, let us spawn first. So we're gonna actually get the the explosive cluster here. The Reapers can knock back your cannon. Look at that. It's gonna knock back this structure. Because normally it knocks back nor knocks back normal units, right? But uh, watch it knock back these. Watch it knock these back. Look at that. Look at that. And they're gonna spawn here. I think always now. I don't know. Maybe maybe until dice. Look at that. That Nova turn. Useless. Get out of the way. <laughs> so th th this week's brawl is gonna, be, is gonna lend for some very interesting gameplay. Uh, I think Hunter Horner is gonna be quite good. My strategy is going to be, as always, I'm going to do a nasty Wraith transition. Or is it? A Steer Wraiths are very powerful. Um, they have a lot of health, they do a lot of damage, and with the Hallowed Vitality, they are going to be even better. Now, what makes them weak is that uh, they get hard countered by anti-armor uh, air units. Air units that do bonus damage against armored air units. Um, because these guys are armored. But, because they're not going to have the armored status, they are going to be insanely tough to get rid of because of their massive health pool, right? Massive health pool and massive amounts of damage. I also have access to good AoE on my Widowmind, uh, which will help counter a lot of uh, spam units because spam units are going to be quite good this week. Um, all right, I mean that's enough about the modifiers. It looks like I'm against Abathur, by the way. Uh, that's enough about the modifiers because one of the things uh, that is coming up is my 200 subscribers uh, celebration stream. I just want to let you guys know about that. Uh, it is coming up uh, this Sunday, right, uh, from 5 p.m. Uh, 2 8 p.m. on uh, Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daily Daylight Time or something like that, right? Uh, so be sure to come and check it out. Uh, I will be playing with you guys. Uh, check out my Discord as well because uh, that's where you can uh, DM me your uh, deets if you do want to play. So example, like your uh, battle tag and everything. So it's just like a nice quick uh, place I can get access to uh, your information and uh, in the sense that like so we can uh, you know quickly we can set it all up and we can all play together. And it'll be it'll be a nice time. Uh, I had a hundred subscriber stream as well, so I, so I can toss the stream up here. Like the video of the stream, it's like a three hour thing. I don't know if you want to watch all of it, uh, but it's like it's there. Uh, show you guys what, what a great time we had last time. Uh, I, had, I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time too. Um, and so I'm looking forward to doing that. And I might even get a 300 subscriber stream maybe next week. Because right now, as it stands, I'm at 230 subs uh, at the filming of this video. So um, I don't know. Like it, it's entirely possible. Uh, let's get the Executioner Missile so that uh, when uh, these things die, they can uh, at least uh, blast the roaches a bit. There we go. So Abathur's got a bunch of roaches. I don't know what he's going to do with them, but uh, I know he's committed in roaches. Uh, that being said, I probably have to keep these Widow Mines. I can't sell them. The one thing i got to keep is Widow Mines. And Widow Mines actually are pretty good because they benefit from the cooldown reduction here. Because this thing is based on cooldown, I think. Uh, so that's perfect for me. Uh, so Black Market Launchers. Let's get that over here. Um, looks like we have a Rainer ally with Rainer Bow. I appreciate that. And we have a Kerrigan with Ultralists. I don't know about that one. Uh, so it's three minutes in. Let's just get a refinery. We're 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 we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Don't worry about it though. The, um, there's there's no detection. I'm gonna drop a scan. It's fine. Uh, all right. So I, I hit all those things right. And also we're continuing Max Madness due to um, less popularity now, but we are continuing it. Uh, I think these missiles can hit buildings now. Can they? I don't know. They might be able to. Can medics just heal anything now? That are oh it hit the. Was it always able to hit that? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm still continuing Max Madness. Maybe this will be the last week, I think. I'm just going to, like, roll it down. Um, like, the, it'll be the last week where I do Max videos every day. Um, I think I'll maybe just, like, if I do continue having Max videos out, it'll be, like, maybe, like, one video here or there. Uh, so it's just less volume of Max videos, I think, if that makes any sense. Um, so I have 11 Reapers. So I just got to wait for the transition. Uh, and so while we wait for the transition, let's just get the Asteria Wraith and let's get the upgrades. So we've got the Trigger Override, and we get the Unregistered Poking System, and then we just sell it back, and then we just keep getting Widow Mines. We're gonna keep getting some more Widow Mines, because Widow Mines will give health to my, um, it'll give bonus health to my Asteria Wraith. Let's see, it gives 1% um, bonus life, right? And also deals well with the, it also allows me to have ground presence, which is very important. Um, and so let's get multi-threaded sensors, and let's get tactical jump. Let's just let's just hang on to that for now. Um, and then once I can sell my reapers, I want to be able to get at least like nine or ten, not nine or ten. That's the way I want to get to that. I'm gonna I want at least to be able to get like four or five Asteria raids out all at once. And uh, since we're we are winning tempo, I think Abathur might be going for Leviathans. Um, I think that's what he might be doing. Uh, contesting Abathur with 
Corruptors, though, might be a little tough. Um, that being said, though, like, my Reaper comp is actually doing surprisingly well. Um, it's doing ridiculously well, considering it's just Reapers and Widow Mines, um, which is actually hilarious. Um, Alright, so that being said, next man to play this, I'm gonna plug it up in the top right corner over here. And as well, if you guys haven't had a chance to check the tier list video, I'm gonna pop it up in the top right corner. There's a Phoenix game inside there as well, so if you wanna see Phoenix in action, um, you can go check that out. Uh, I may have made some bad decisions there though, because I was a little, a little, a little sleep deprived uh, here and there, so, um, dude, <laughs> uh, there, were, there were, might have been some bad decisions there. Uh, that being said though, oh, so the buildings do respawn back here. Okay, excellent. So I can, like, just knock everyone's defenses back. Um, so, that being said, there's a tier list there. Uh, all I feel like this week is probably like the hardest week to make a tier list about because it's just anything goes in the sense that like the things that you would intuitively think are good this week or intuitively you think are hard counters actually are not going to be hard counters this week. In fact, it's the opposite, right? Um, so Widow Mines actually seem quite good. Like I think I I rated Haunted Horner a little too low. I think like if, if I went back, if I could redo my tier list, if I went back and just like turned it upside down, I feel like that might be good. I don't know. Because, like, there's a bunch of strategies that will work this week, uh, and one of them is just having lots and lots of small units. Um, can I, can I, can I toss all these guys out now? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna toss these guys out. Let's, let's get rid of the Reapers. Uh, Reapers, get out of here. Give me my money back. There we go. That gave me just enough money to get another, to get two more rates. Excellent. Um, let's see. These Widow Mines have done gains plus 9% attack speed. Ooh. Can I get out another rate? Oh, that was clutch. Let's see, there we go. We got five rates out here. I think Avatar's probably expecting this transition because he hasn't done nothing but sit on those roaches. Um, I really would have liked him to just try and commit to more roaches to win the ground. That would be hilarious. Um, but let's see. Oh, he's got a, he's got Locust. Okay. He's got Locust. But you know what? We got Trigger Override here. His Overlord is dead. And uh, he's got one Fatty Swarm host that is going to get blasted down by my Steer Rates. Oh, look at that. And we got some Widow Mines to support the ground units. So I think, I, I think I'm pretty set to take on Abathur. Because uh, his Devourers don't do bonus damage to me anymore. So that's excellent. Um, I don't know why Nova has Ghost. Because Ghost can only snipe biological units. And since nothing has a type anymore, uh, a Ghost can't snipe. <laughs> Ghost just can't snipe. Uh, that being said, Raider Bio. Rainer went with the Battle Cruiser. I think I want to try out a Rainer Battle Cruiser build, actually. It looks kind of fun. Uh, because Battle Cruisers have a lot of health, and uh, their usual weaknesses have been removed. The usual weakness being the fact that they're big flying armored units uh, that get completely dumpstered by anti armor air units. Uh, because that. Oh, okay, there we go. Got some Vipers, but uh, Vipers only do bonus damage to armored units, and guess what? There are no more armored units! And how are you going to answer these Ultralists? Oh my god, I'm so excited for this week, bro. This is so hilarious. Um, like, the equality bra just makes everything just, just, nothing makes sense this week. Um, like, some things are, seem obviously good, but, like, it's so hard to tell what is good and what isn't good anymore because of how much things have changed, right? Like, units that do bonus damage based on, like, their, like, anti-armor status or anti-light status suddenly aren't even that good anymore. Like, look at that, we're just gonna yeet the Nexus. That Nexus is getting yeeted. Yeeted! Yeet it! Oh! Okay, next push, next push. We're gonna yeet it, next push. I don't stand a chance. Look at that railgun turn. Okay. That Liberator over here doing some splash damage. We got a Battle Cruiser. Mm, do I need more anti ground presence? I don't know. Rainer hopefully can scan for himself. There we go. He can scan for himself. Uh, but the answer is just more Asteria Rates. So it would probably be good. We got 420 HP on these Asteria Rates. Can I get a 420 in the chat? <laughs> 420 HP. Um, that's pretty good. As you can see, Asteria Rates are quite tanky. So uh, that's very good for us. Very bad for them. Um, Mm, let's get some armor upgrades, and then uh, let's go to tier 3. I think I think that'll be good. We'll just sit on tier 3. Uh, tier 3 for just, just for more upgrades. I don't even think I want to get access to anything else uh, besides that. Although, Nova is kind of messing me up with those Liberators. Just a little bit. Uh, maybe I need some more multi-threaded analysis on my Ravens. I don't know. Like, his Goliaths can't lock me down anymore because my, my air units aren't mechanical anymore. So you can't lock me down. Because Lockdown Missiles only work on mechanical air units. And uh, guess what? These are typeless uh, air units. They're just basic. It's what, make Boswell's, it's what makes Boswell so good. The fact that he's typeless, right? And now I'm basic. Oh, well, he's essentially typeless uh, in, in the way that matters, right? Uh, you're not going to counter Boswell with the Archons. Uh, at least I hope not. Um, and now we got typeless over here. I mean, I probably could have ended this game a little earlier uh, had I gone a little bit more. I don't know if I should get Deimos Vikings, because Deimos Vikings don't technically counter... I don't know, maybe they might, but the Liberators are too busy shooting ground units anyways. 
Uh, Abathur is pushing us back. He's got these devours. Um, and they do do they do AoE damage, I guess, but they don't do bonus damage to me anymore. I guess they still might slow. Uh, my steel rates are regenerating way too fast for um, the Vipers to actually hurt me, which is hilarious. Look at that, these devours don't stand a chance. Like they're just I'm just so heavily stacked right now. Like I'm just obliterating everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. Let's just get like, like I knew a steer rates were gonna be good this week. Um, every time a steer rates get a buff in some way, they're just way too good. Like they're just they're just too good. Because they do damage to everything. Yeah, they got a short range, right? But they, they do well against everything, right? Um, that being said, do Liberators? They don't do bonus damage to anything. They just do AoE. Um, which is, I guess, good? I don't know. I think I need more... I think I just need more... Um, I need more of these babies. Uh oh I didn't get that guy out. Okay, it's fine. Uh, how many Widow Mines do I have? I have one, two, three... I have five. Uh, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. Uh, I think I need some more Widow Mines, though, so I can... Boost the HP of my boys here. So let's just put the Widow Mines out here in like a aggressive echelon formation. Uh, that was like the Nexus. That was the Nexus. Yeah, there's no way they're coming back from that one. I don't know why Avatar has a Guardian. Jesus. Alright. Nova should have just probably just went Marines. I think Nova Marines would have done well. Because um, Nova, I, I think Nova's actually a lot weaker this week. Uh, unless you go Marines. Um, because most of her stuff is specialized at countering things. Um, and they do bonus damage to the things they counter. But, um, well, because things don't have types anymore. They're not going to do any bonus damage. And they had two Novas, too. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, this Nova had the right idea, I guess, with the, with the Liberators, but, like, I don't think the Liberators attack fast enough to, to kill all these raids. Like, I think Marines might have been the best way to do it. But then again, going into Ultralisk, I guess Liberators probably were the best thing. So, uh, I lost quite a lot of units, but those were my Reapers in the beginning. You know, just, just doing Reaper things. Uh, but holy, Carrie did a lot of damage. I guess it's probably because her units stayed alive for a long time and did, then they did AoE. Um... I actually lost the mineral values. I'm not surprised at that, but I'm surprised that Kerrigan actually did not lose mineral value. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. It's probably because their ultralists were, were very strong, I guess, because they're not they're not being countered by uh, the normal anti armor. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, uh, be sure to go check out the stream uh, tomorrow. That's happening. Uh, you guys don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss a chance to play with me and uh, with everyone else who is also viewers. Uh, that'll be great. Great community building experience. Uh, but until next time. I'll catch you guys later. Catch you on the stream, by the way. See you guys later.